By the way, this is a task I had not been looking forward to because what I need to do, guys, is that my mom is a master artist from the Forbidden City in Beijing and she has done a lot of these paintings. Uh, but what I need to do now is a task that's pretty daunting. Why? Because I need to remove these calligraphy, as you can see on the left hand side. Sometimes this task is just needed for a lot of creators and artists out there, depending on you know how you're using these paintings, what you're trying to do. For instance, you might want to maybe create merch and things like that. So you need these intricate details to be removed. And here's exactly how you do it through Canva. Look at this painting from before and after. This is before, as you can see, and this is after. The calligraphy is not there anymore. So what you're going to do step by step is number one, let me show you. Go back to the home page of Canva. And what you can do is measure exactly what the pixels are for your painting. And that is actually pretty straightforward. If you're not so sure, let me show you real quick. So just basically open up this painting and you can grab your cursor and measure it. It's going to show you in this corner what the width and height is. So you will know, right? And from there, all you have to do is go to Canva, create a design, and then lower left hand corner, you're going to do a custom size design following that. Now, once you have created the design, I've already done one, but I'm going to show you a second one. So let me add a page. So how about, I mean, there are probably going to be limitations to be quite honest. Like you see this one, for instance, so let me drop it in. And then I'm going to line this painting and most of them are about the same size, right? So like that, let me zoom in a little bit and now watch this. So I'm already thinking, you know, you see where the scarf is flowing. And so this might not come out perfectly, right? We're talking about using AI here. So what I will do is I'll click on the image. I click on edit photo and on the left hand, uh, left hand side here, I'm going to do magic eraser. This is a pro feature. And from here, it says brush over the image. So you see, I'm just creating these kind of not very subtle, you know, big blob of purple here. One click. You see what's happening here? My God, this is like literally blows me away. Not only it doesn't like erase the scarf altogether, it is, yes, there's some blurriness and then you can choose the size by the way, right? And then you can do it again if you want to, if you're not happy with the results. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. Let's try another one. I just want to show you guys some variations, like things that might be pretty tricky. So what about this one? You see how much calligraphy there is, and it's already like brushing up on the main character here. And uh, the painting also is slightly different in size. So I have to see what I want to do about that. I can always, I can always move it up once I remove the calligraphy. So once again, click on the photo, and now I'm going to use Magic Eraser. And this size is going to work. You see, you can just like kind of hover over. So now I'm just going to brush like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just don't brush over like the person or the main character. That's what I'm aiming for. So sometimes I can even do like this, kind of just go around the corner here. And it's kind of fun, isn't it? So I'm just going to let go and see what the AI does. That is pretty cool. You see where I left a dot here? I can click on that once again and it will be removed. That's it. Guys, you can zoom in and out and see what you want to add back. And this is so, so simple. Again, this is Faith from Face World Media. If you haven't explored Canva's AI tools, and this is one of many, I'm truly blown away. Even as a user for Canva for over, I think nearly 10 years at this point, I'm a strong believer, huge advocate. This video is not sponsored and I hope you will check out this pro feature. I've listed my link in the description below at no extra cost to you and your support of this video, sharing it, loving it, liking it, uh, will really help us creators to create more content like this for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.